Well, I thought I'd point out one more thing here too. Uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious to a mechanic, which I'm not. I'm a computer systems engineer. I just do this shit for fun. Uh, but, well, I had to save money, of course. Uh, but yeah, uh, when you have a coolant leak that's going into your motor, there's going to be a couple of telltale signs. One, you're losing coolant yet there's no leak that you can see and you're getting a lot of white smoke uh, when the machine's running um, like I discussed earlier in my case uh, it was kind of fussy it would foul up one side until I got things warmed up or, or moving at higher RPMs and it would just clear itself out eventually but uh, when you look at the plugs I don't know if you can see this very well but just take my word for it uh, you've got this one cylinder that's a little bit darker and the plug is actually burning perfect it's the absolute like nice golden brown color and i have the other side here which is completely shiny it's completely clean and the plug is not burning nicely it's kind of black and uh, when i actually pulled the head off i noticed there was some coolant a little bit of coolant on the inside here of the uh, head so I know that this is the side that, uh, you know, was sucking in water because it's clean. It's literally been washed. And uh, if you look at the pistons as well, the piston on the side that's been washed is pretty damn clean. And then the, the piston on the other side is your normal, your normal kind of carboned up sort of look to it. And uh, I've confirmed from the guy I bought this from that... Uh, he did not replace the PTO side piston or the uh, other side. So we know that uh, based on just everything we're looking at, it's not very hard to find out which side had the problem. Now when you pull these apart, O-rings aren't terribly expensive. I bought enough O-rings for both sides and I actually bought the base gaskets as well. Uh, my local Polaris dealer had them in stock. And it was 74 bucks taxes in. I'm in Ontario, Canada, so that's 13% on top. So I mean, for 75 bucks, basically, I got enough gaskets to redo the whole motor. But I know that the problem was right here. But I'm gonna replace everything on the top anyways, and I'm gonna leave the base gaskets alone because that's a hell of a lot more work. You gotta pull out the exhaust, you gotta pull out the carbs, take off the cylinders, it's, uh, it's, it's no fun. So what the hell is the point changing those even though I have them I, I could maybe return them until I do a rebuild or I could hang on to them because hey uh, I'm eventually going to be rebuilding this motor I'm sure but uh, yeah until then uh, we replace these o-rings and get things uh, back in business.